Grace, mercy, and peace to you, friends. This is Pastor Rod's service. Uh, the elders, especially our head elder, Brian Rooney, has put together a prayer journey packet. It's called Freedom Through Forgiveness, a Liberating Prayer Journey. It's an excellent read. We're going to provide you with uh, the opportunity to engage this National Day of Prayer in a couple different ways. One, you can pick up the packet from church, and you can go through it with your scripture. You can pray and pause and reflect. Uh, all you need is uh, the scripture is right there in the packet. The words are right there in the packet. Perhaps, though, a writing utensil and a notebook to make prayer ri- uh, written down would be a good way to proceed. Or feel free to take advantage of our YouTube videos, which we're going to post on Facebook each day for five days up until the National Day of Prayer. On the National Day of Prayer, we'll put them all together as one. So you can do them as you go through the week and make it a week-long event. Or you can just wait to the National Day of Prayer and make it an event there. Uh, Each section is roughly 10 minutes, so by the end of the week, we get about 40, 45 minutes uh, total at the end of the week for National Day of Prayer. So we pray this be a blessing to you. Now, why do this? Well, the purpose of this prayer walk is to help you to come to a deeper understanding of God's love for you, of the different aspects of forgiveness, of why and how to forgive, and of the freedom of forgiveness. Our desire for you is to use this time to hit the pause button on your busy life and spend some time in the presence of our Heavenly Father. May you come before him with awe and reverence, reflecting on the written words, on the Bible verses, on the questions prompting the prayer. May, you, may he dig deep into your heart, your feelings about your present circumstances, your past experiences, and especially any burdens that you are hanging on to. You can be honest with God, introducing, including your feelings of anger, despair, hopelessness, guilt, or pain, for healing, for peace, and freedom can only become found, come found, be found the foot of the cross by repenting and asking God's forgiveness and receiving God's grace. Now, there's no time limit for any of these sections as we go through. Some may require to be gone through more than one time and need more time in prayer. Some may have to be revisited in order for the Holy Spirit to complete his work for the full meaning of full impact of these messages to sink in. Other sections may not pertain to you, but we ask you to linger there and pray for those you know they are or might be struggling with that topic. Rest assured that all of your prayers, no matter how long or eloquent, no matter how simple or short, will be heard by God. He hears every one of them. In fact, God knows what you are going to pray before you even do. Or from Psalm 139.4, Before a word of my tongue came to you, Lord, you knew it completely. Nonetheless, God still wants to hear from us, his children. So whether our prayers are silent or from the heart, or whether they are spoken aloud, We pray that the prayer journey would bless you and all whom we pray together in faith. Lord, bless us on this journey together. In the name of Christ our Lord, amen.